Namaste, my beautiful friends, my beautiful souls. Welcome. Welcome to another episode of our podcast, A Coffee with the Angels. Thank you for joining me today. I'm very happy, very glad to have you here. If it's your first time, make sure um, you subscribe to the podcast and be, pri- be part of our beautiful souls tribe. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm here um, because the other day, actually, I received a question on my Instagram and someone asked me, how do you know, how can you know what is your purpose? And I thought I should come here and actually talk to you from my experience and from the things that I've learned with the angels through all these years um, and what they actually taught me because... Let me share with you how how did it go for me. Um, when I started this journey many years ago, over six years ago, um, when I started learning Reiki, and at that time, it was still in the beginning of my spiritual awakening, um, you know, I, I, I was already connecting with the angels. I had done my, my Reiki trainings. I had done my, my angel healing um training as well, meditation, everything, almost everything, Um, a few trainings here and there when it comes to working with energy and all this stuff, but it was still very early for me, I mean, it's early, when I'm talking about early, maybe, um, you know, a year, two years, maybe, you know, since I, since I started, like, really embracing this side of me, the spiritual side of me, uh, but I mean, time doesn't really make a difference here. But anyways, um, when it, it was quite fresh for me because there was so much change. You know, everything was changing within me um, when I went through this path, when I chose to actually come uh, forward with this and, and really embrace the side of me that was connecting with angels, was working with energy. Everything started to fall into place and I started to understand life in a different way. But what happened is... At the same time, there was so many things changing inside of me that I got kind of desperate, actually, um, to find my purpose. Even though I loved doing Reiki, I loved working with the angels, I, I thought that there actually was something specific that I should be doing to fulfill my purpose. And I was creating so much anxiety when it comes to this because I was still working, you know, I was still doing my my previous job together with the holistic healing and I was doing both things together, but I really wanted to drop that. I really wanted to let go of that, that job and really embrace this, you know, in totality. But it was so hard for me because I wanted... To understand what I needed to do. What was my purpose? What was I meant to do with all of this information? With all of these trainings? I thought there was something specific. And I got so anxious about this. I couldn't even sleep. I remember even, you know, I was thinking about this. I remember even crying many times. Because, I, you know, I couldn't find the the purpose. What am I meant to be doing? What do I need to do with this? You know, I always, always thought there was something specific, you know, that I signed up for, that I needed to fulfill this purpose, and it was my responsibility to figure it out and to fulfill that because I I came here for that. You know, we need to understand here, one thing is a soul contract, which is something maybe we can talk about another time, but... A soul contract is about experiences. It's not about what you're doing. Because, and this is something that the angels taught me. Because I was so desperate at that, at that time that I, I started to do everything I could to find out my purpose. I was doing so many sessions with other healers, all types of energy healing. And so many meditations and nothing was coming through and, 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 and I was going crazy because I was so confused. And 
what the angels actually taught me about this is that, first of all, we need to really understand the universe is never for one second going to take away from us our free will, our power of choice, our power of choosing what we want and which way to go. Never. And if you think like if if you think with this mindset that there is one specific thing that you need to be doing that means you don't have free will it, there is no choice you have to go and do that and it doesn't it doesn't work that way there are, there are actually we come to 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 life on earth with many purposes as a soul but the main thing the main purpose that we all share actually here is our own understanding of who we are, the understanding of the being that we are, remembering who we are, returning to love, returning to light, realigning with who we are. This is our purpose. Period. That's it. We're not here. We're not here to be a dentist. We're not here to be a vet. We're not here to be a teacher. I'm not here to be a Reiki healer. I'm not here to be an angelic medium. I am here to understand who I am and to reconnect with Source. We, please keep this in your mind, we get to choose how we are going to find that connection. For me, for me personally, it is through working with healing with Reiki, with energy, with angel therapy, with meditation, with helping people on this journey, supporting people on this journey of self-discovering, of self-connection. But for many other people, it can be something else, you know, and this is what you need to understand. Your purpose is to make yourself happy. That is your purpose. Your purpose is to understand who you are. There is not one specific thing that you need to be doing here. Please take that out of your mind. Release that burden now. <laughs> take that off your shoulders. You're not here to be a vet. You're not here to be a dentist. You're here to, to feel happy and fulfilled at what you're doing. It doesn't matter what it is. The universe is not worried about how you're going to do this. The universe is not worried if you're choosing to be a lawyer instead of... Uh, a dancer because you're meant to be a lawyer you're not meant to be anything you're meant to understand who you are and remember who you are it doesn't matter how you do that and this is actually why i couldn't find out what was my purpose because you will only understand you will only have that 100 certainty that what you're doing is your purpose once you are feeling completely connected with the things you're doing, once you feel happy with the things you're doing, once it's not a, you know, it's not a burden anymore, it's not heavy, it's not, you know, a responsibility. You do it from your heart, you do it because you love it, you do it because it makes you smile every day. When you think about doing that, that is your purpose. So please understand if at any point anyone ever tells you oh your purpose is to be a lawyer please run away from it <laughs> you need to understand that you, you have to take back your control don't give away your control to anyone nobody in this planet has the power to tell you what to do to tell you that your purpose is this and that your purpose is to be happy and another thing that you need to understand and this is also something that the angels also told me we need to set ourselves free from this, please. They're saying this now. But you need to understand that our purpose, doesn't, it, it, it doesn't need to be your entire life, your one and only purpose. You know, if you chose to be a lawyer once, you don't need to be a lawyer for the rest of your life. If your soul, your being is constantly changing, especially if you come into this journey of spiritual awakening, of consciousness of healing you will be changing and of course what makes you happy will also be changing so it's okay if 
yesterday you were happy being a lawyer, but today you don't want it anymore. You want something else, something that actually makes you happier. Let that go. Your purpose is to always learn to listen to your heart, to listen to what you're feeling, to listen to what you feel you should be doing. If you ignore it, if you keep asking people, because I remember I was acting like this. I was asking people to tell me. You need to tell me what I'm here for, what I need to be doing, because I can't figure it out. You have to give me an answer. I was looking for answers, going to all these healers and doing all these meditations. But, of course, nobody never gave me an answer. No one has this power. Please let that go. You need to learn to grow. You need to learn to connect with yourself. And once you are connected with yourself, listening to that inner call, listening to that inspiration, listening to who you are, taking care of yourself, the more aligned you are with you, the clearer it gets, the more you understand what makes you happy. It's a natural process to understand what your purpose is. So this is actually what I told this girl that asked me on Instagram about this. You will only find what your purpose is when you stop looking for it. Because <laughs> this is what happened with me. I was going so crazy about this and I was not getting anywhere and I got so frustrated. But I, I kept going. I kept on working on me. I kept on changing. I kept on healing. And it was making more and more sense. And I was getting it was getting more and more clear. And as I told you, nobody never told me, Maria, you're meant to be a Reiki healer. And you're meant to work with the angels. And you're meant to do this and that with this kind of, of uh, work. Nobody never told me this. I just feel it. I feel. I know. Because I'm connected with it. It makes sense to me. You know, so you need to embrace your truth. Usually our purpose is connected with the things that we loved doing when we were younger. In a way, you know, things that maybe you, you're not doing now. For example, for me, I, I always loved working with people. I always loved helping, teaching. I, I always loved... Um, it really it really resonated with me since very young age uh, teaching and and helping people but that doesn't mean that it's, it's the same with you and I want you to understand this you need to learn to listen to yourself you need to learn to connect with you if you did not find your purpose if you don't know your purpose yet work on you work on your energy heal release let things go Expand your consciousness, expand your awareness, you know, work with your energy, meditate. This will, will help you come home. This will help you reconnect. And once you're here, it's very clear. There is no, there are no questions about it. Okay, beautiful soul. So please let go of that kind of mindset that the universe is controlling you. There is no such thing. Okay, you are here to figure out figure out who you are to reconnect with you with love with light and once you do that you will understand the next step and the next step and the next step you will understand when to change and what to do because it gets easier you you know you know yourself you know your feelings okay my dear so keep that in mind please let me know if you're watching this on youtube let me know in the comments below if you have found your purpose and what you're doing right now um, and I thank you I thank you for joining me today I wish you a wonderful and a blessed day wherever you are um, make sure you join again and I appreciate you thank you for sharing this moment and growing with me together we become better we, we get closer to our divine truth take care of yourself I'll talk to you soon Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shanti, shanti, shanti. And namaste.